Hi, I'm Lisa, and today I'm going to cover up a tattoo using my Judith August Killer Cover. So, we have our Killer Cover here, and I use three of the five shades that come in this. I use the lightest shade and then the next two down because I have fair skin, obviously, but the light shade doesn't do it on its own. You have to combine it with the other colors. So first we have our little handy dandy scraper that comes with the killer cover. And it's really important that you actually scrape the product out and warm it up on your hand and don't just use it directly out of the container because the product has so much pigment in it that you really need to warm it up and get it ready to use. So I just put it right here on my hand. So I'm gonna scrape some of the light here. And then some of the medium. And some of the darker. The darker one is the one I actually use the most of, surprisingly, when I do this. So I've got a lot of that there. And then I just use my hand, my three fingers, to apply because it's super easy, super simple. The product also comes with a sponge that you can use, um, but I found I like the blendability with my fingers a lot. So to get started here, first I'm going to warm the product up on my hand with my finger and then just start dabbing it into my tattoo. So it's really important that you press it in so that you get that pigment where you want it. You don't want to just sort of um, spread it around. You want to really press. So we're just pressing in more of the dark color. This first layer really covers all of those black lines that I have in there. Really cancels out all of that. So then next I move on to the lighter shade, not the lightest yet, and just apply it the same way. Just press it in. And now it's starting to be closer to the color of my skin. And another thing that the pressing with your hands really does well is it keeps the product warm so you can blend it, but it also makes it look more like skin because you don't wanna be walking around with a big noticeable blob of makeup on you. So as you can see, it's pretty much gone now. So then I go in with the lightest color, which is the closest color to my actual skin, and I tap that in, and that really sort of seals the deal and starts to make it the same color as my skin, which is obviously important. So now that my tattoo has vanished, I want to blend out the edges so it blends with my skin everywhere. This you could also use that little sponge for just to help blend it out. And as you can see, Tattoo there, no tattoo there. Pretty awesome. So now you just wanna cover it with some translucent powder to set it. And you're done. So I would wait about three to five minutes until it's totally dry and set before putting on your clothes. But basically, you had a tattoo and now you don't. And that is some killer cover.